and she's just sensational. She's all that in a bag of chips. And although I have shoes older than her, <laughs> trust me, and they may be taller than her. <laughs> they are. <laughs> but she's a giant talent who sings from the heart. As I learned when we sang together at the White House for President Obama and Mrs. Obama, she tore it down. Honest to goodness, she can sing her face off. So let me keep going. And in a world that can be dangerous for all of us, especially for young women, she's always, she's always standing tall for herself, her fans, and for all the young women out there who see themselves in her. Like all real singers, Ariana knows how to connect with people. I'm so out of breath. Lots of people. I mean, she has so many people following her. Listen to me. Thank you, Next, which is so viral, even I caught it. And I do have a flip phone, I swear to God. <laughs> Just hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Ariana's already had three number one hits on the Billboard 200 chart, including her album, Sweetener which gives us great songs like No More Tears Left to Cry. And women are just like God is all women. It's called God is a Woman. You got that right. And definitely, <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous, and definitely listening to Ariana, I'm reading and I'm crazy. And she's, <laughs> she's using that platform that she has to support causes. Oh, God. She believes in, in let me start again. She believes in causes, okay? You got me, right? <laughs> she took, should I stand up? She took part in the March for Our Lives earlier this year in support of smarter gun control laws. <laughs> ah, yes she did. And is constantly advocating for mental health awareness, gender equality, LGBTQ rights and black lives do matter. You go, girl. Yes! Ariana, congratulations, my baby. This is your year, and I am so happy for you. From your soul sister, soul sister, gold sister, Patty LaBelle, you won't get many, many more. Okay, I love you. I love you. Here's a clip. Woo! Ariana, Ariana. One of the smallest but biggest pop stars on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande! She's just naturally a curious artist and she likes to explore different melodies. I love her. She has the best female vocal in pop music today. She is really standing up for women. She's really making a statement with her music. I'm passionate about certain things and I've never been able to keep my mouth shut about anything. Make some noise if you're proud to be who you are. Make some noise if you're proud to love who you love. I just hope to inspire others to be themselves and that that is celebrated. Ariana continues to outdo herself with all of her music and all of her projects outside of music as well. They all inspire her fans. She lives for the universe first, but her family and her fans are kind of like the same. It's a friendship. If I see somebody who's upset, I'll feel that with them. I love you. You look like you're crying. Are you crying? No. My fans in Germany are the cutest people in the world. Hi, Hi. cuties. She is one of the nicest people. What took place in Manchester is heavy, heavy, heavy stuff for the world. I always knew that she would go back because she loves those lives, amazing lives that were lost. You try not to give in to fear. That was the point of finishing my tour. I was to set an example for my fans who were fearless enough to show up.
The sense of community that I saw in response to what happened was the best example of humanity. I just never really seen anything like it. Ariana continues to stand bravely, being the iconic figure that she's become. When you're faced with something challenging or negative, the only response to it really is kindness. standing because someone stood and they feel obligated. You don't have to stand. It's okay. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm so, um, thank you. I love you, Patty. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. Um, thank you. I'm giving you one more hug. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Um, this is insane. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much uh, for coming to my quinceanera. It means so much <laughs> that you guys are here today. It means so much. I appreciate it. Um, you all coming out. Uh, no, I want to thank Billboard so much for this um, incredible honor. I feel completely undeserving, and I don't uh, thank you. It's truly insane. Um, I want to thank you guys for also putting on this event every year because it acknowledges, um, you know, how male-dominated this industry is and um, gives women a moment to be together and fight for more equality. Hopefully, we can even out the playing field moving forward, and um, it's really cool to be in this room with so many women that I love. I'm obsessed with all of you. Um, Patty just gave me this award. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful. Um, uh, I want to thank Republic. I want to thank Monty, Lucian. I want to thank my managers, Scooter. I want to thank Scott Marcus. I want to thank Allison Kay, um, Wendy Goldstein. Oh, you're right there. You've moved. You were here. You were there now. I want to thank Wendy Goldstein, um, Jody Gerson, thank you so much. I'm going to forget everything I wanted to say because this is really overwhelming, so please forgive me. Um, no, yeah, this is really special. I want to say that I find it interesting that this has been one of like the best years of my career and like the worst of my life. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that for sympathy, I'm just saying that because I feel like a lot of people would look at someone um, in my position right now, I guess, like woman of the year, I, an artist that could be at her peak, like reaching her, you know, whatever, and think uh, she's really got her shit together, you know? Like, she's really on it, like, she's got it all. And um, I do, but I, as far as like my personal life goes, I really have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So, um, so yeah, I, it's been a very conflicting one. And um, I just wanna say that um, if you're, someone out there who has no idea what this next chapter is going to bring, you're not alone in that. And, um, ew, I'm not going to cry. That's really stupid. Uh, sorry, I have to pull back. I have to stop that immediately. That's annoying. I'm not going to cry. That's really annoying. Uh, ew. Um, that's really gross. I'm not going to do that. Um, no, but, yeah, you're not alone in that. And um, I'm really looking forward to embracing whatever happens and whatever comes my way. Um, Really grateful for my friends and family. I love you guys so much. Really grateful for music. I'm so grateful for Victoria Monet and Taylor Parks. You guys are here tonight. You're so incredible. Um, I'm so grateful we got to make this next album together um, and have some of the most fun times in my life in the studio. I wouldn't have made it through this like last chapter without you guys and without this project and blah, blah, blah. I'm really looking forward to everyone hearing it. It was really special. I feel like we made like, if First Wives Club were an album, that's the album, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, no, I really, I'm really, really grateful. This is awesome. I'm looking forward to um, celebrating all of the amazing women here tonight. After I come off stage, I wanna hug everyone. You're all amazing. Um, I look forward to hopefully learning to give some of the love and forgiveness that I've given away so frivolously and easily to men in the past, to myself, hopefully, this year. Um, thank you. Um, thanks. And, um, yeah, I have everything I've ever dreamt of having. And as of late, I've discovered that it's the things I've always had and the people I've always had that still make me the happiest. So, thank you so much. This is really cool. Ew, I'm crying. <laughs>